Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA. It's Sunday morning. Did you cross the weekend? Did you cross the weekend? The toast is toast and the butter is buttering. And I'm here, you're here, and big developments about your second stimulus check. And that found money, that additional $800 billion that just happened to be, you know, sitting around. No one noticed it until I brought it up. And now we're at about $1.6. We're heading to $2.2 trillion of money just sort of sitting around. Uh, you know, imagine if we had just sort of $2 trillion sitting around, what we would do it do with it. Uh, let's just say we would have a nice party. But now millions of Americans are wondering that tuning into this channel, how quickly we get a stimulus package out now that we don't have to spend any money on it because there's all this unused CARES Act 1 money can repurpose. Meantime, a lot of viewers got stimulus checks uh, from their cities and counties uh, for grants for rent and utilities overnight at breaking developments across the board. And I'm so glad you joined me on Sunday early mornings, LA Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning, the 6 a.m. edition of the one-hour programming block here every day on Early Mornings LA. It starts at 6 o'clock, and then the continues 30 minutes from now with the 6.30 edition at the bottom of the hour. If you've not subscribed, please do, because I'm getting people a lot of money on this channel from CARES Act 1 grants, money for rent, money for food, and money for utilities, and sometimes stimulus and sometimes other money that was dedicated to their cities and counties and because of this channel we're getting it and boy I'm dedicating every minute and breath to getting these people this money and you could be the next person so please subscribe throughout the day you'll see more developments on how you can get this money I have people helping others helping get the money and I'm giving you updates Lily on this channel also like this video in this video I'll be explaining why subscribing to this channel is so important because as I hear a grant announced in Broward County or Dade County, Miami-Dade, or in uh, a, you know West Palm, Florida County, I'm announcing them on the community page. I'm giving you the links, I'm telling you everything you need to know. And as new success stories come in, I tell it as well. And also I try to get you the answers you're trying to get to get this grant money right away. So that's coming up next. Uh, if you've not uh, noticed to the side is a live chat. This is a super chat. Um, it's an instant premiere every morning on LA Late Early Mornings. What's great is you see the same friends and family. So get your cup of coffee, sit back, see familiar faces in the chat every morning at 6 a.m. If you're a little bit late riser, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, there's another one that also features a live instant chat. You can chat on the right, instant chat, and uh, watch along if you're watching when the show premieres. And boy, there's so much breaking news this morning, and I'm so excited for you. So let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you sit here this morning is that lots of viewers, and certainly I am, very excited about this new found money, which I found uh, in the last 48 hours. There's, you know, eight, there's $500, $800 billion of CARES Act 1 money sitting at SBA. I've detailed that a lot on this channel. $800 billion in SBA of uh, expired PPP money that could be repurposed as a stimulus check would amount to $5,000 as a stimulus check. We got that. Um, but the issue with Mitch McConnell is that he wants to do a stimulus package he doesn't want to pay for. It. It's sort of like, you know, that, that person that wants to take you off for lunch but doesn't want to ever pay for the bill. Uh, so that's sort of what Mitch is. <laughs> now, there's an option with Mitch um, for lunch, a special lobster lunch. There's a new option where you can go to lunch and just eat for free. And what is that? That's what I'm about to talk about right now. An additional $800 billion was accounted for by Steve Mnuchin on Friday of unused CARES Act 1 money somewhere else. And then the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, had said, you know what? I'm returning my money. It's expiring in a few weeks. So I'm returning to you now because you requested it. It's coming back. So it's coming back. How much is that? That's not 10 cents either. And then there's that state and local money, which is the subject of the grants, which I'll get into in a second, and they're returning that money around December 15th. That's coming back. So 
it's just, you know, uh, everyone's sending a lot of wonderful holiday gifts of billions of dollars back to Congress and just sort of sitting around. What are they going to do? Just have a wig party at Nancy Pelosi's office? I just can't believe I said that. Uh, but yeah, it's just sort of sitting around. So this is really promising news because Mitch McConnell wants to give you stimulus checks, FPUC, UI, expire in December, um, PUA, expire in December, rent, um, protection, uh, mortgage protection, uh, some money for schools and some money for uh, uh, testing and tracing, but he doesn't want to spend the money on it. He's cheap. He's fiscally responsible. He doesn't want to spend the national debt. Well, now that we have 1.6, 1.8, two trillion dollars coming back, he could literally, you know, write a check for. I'm being. You know, uh, image wise, he's not he's not the one writing the check, but he can basically get all this re this existing money and repurpose it for Nancy Pelosi's wish list, as he calls it. And we're done. I mean, we're done. Then what's the excuse? There is no excuse because he said he was not sending out the money because he didn't want to raise the national debt. This doesn't raise the national debt. It's existing money. It's so simple. And as one viewer said, L.A., I think if you were in Washington, you could just sort of solve this in 10 seconds. Yes. Uh, and then the viewers say, well, why don't they realize it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> They were poetry majors in college or something. Uh, uh, they were painters and never opened a calculator in their entire life. I just, you know, uh, Nancy Pelosi has never talked about numbers, so it's, I would not be surprised if she doesn't understand the impact of numbers. But this is a numbers situation, and this is really promising news. Now, turning back to numbers situations on a local level, let's go over what's happening now about your incredible, incredible rent grants. What's important to understand is that I'm getting money for viewers right now, not five days from now, not five weeks from now, not five months from now. You will get stimulus from these people eventually. Um, but eventually it's not cutting it for you and I. Let's be, let's talk turkey here. It's not cutting it. You need money right now. You need to get through the holidays. And every few minutes I'm getting another person a couple thousand dollars. This is what's incredible. I mean, I've, it's a quarter million dollars I've gotten viewers so far. And now I have people helping them and they're do and I'm not I'm not even able to track how many they're helping. Then I have people just sort of dropping in the comments, oh by the way, you helped me, thank you. I got five thousand dollars yesterday, I got six thousand uh, dollars and they pay my first and last. It's just it's just everywhere. So let me explain why things have sort of changed, what you need to do and how you need to change it going into Sunday. And I understand Sunday offices are closed, but what you can do. First 90% of the money is for rent. Okay, that's the first thing. Um, and that and that includes utilities, rent and utilities. Uh, most of the money, I would say 85% of the money, is what I've described as CARES Act 1 money. Money that came from your from the federal government, went to your state, and then from the state, went from the state to the city, the county. You're going to find the money in either the city, the county, or the state. And you need to look at all three places. So you need to call City Hall. You need to call the county hall and you need to call the state housing authority. In some cases, the state kept the money. And so in some of the states, the state housing authority has given grants to the viewers of this channel because they were doing the rent grants, the state housing authorities. Make it pretty clear. Next, what's important to understand is that in some states, it's just every single county is just doing rent, 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 because it's use or lose it. It's just a few weeks away. So I've literally, in just hours, had people send me the links, for, send me the messages for Broward County in Florida, Miami-Dade in Florida, um, West Palm in Florida. It's just every county after county, and it just keeps on rolling and rolling and rolling. So what's important to understand is that it's generally rent, and it's generally rent plus utilities. Now, you need to work out of the box in some of the bigger cities that may have spent money early on. So you need to call up the utilities company and say and ask and look around there as well. Now, this was the biggest point of advice that I gave viewers on Sunday. Actually, two points of advice. I'm going to give you both of them right now. The first one is wordy. I, it, and I and I forget to tell myself this all the time, but at one point, one of the viewers on Afternoons LA on Saturday said, LA, LA, I called them up and I asked for a COVID grant. They said, grant? What do you mean grant? What is a grant? And then I said, well, um, I heard that you may have rent grants. So then they used the word rent, but kept the word grant. 
the, the caller on the two on one said, I don't know what grant means. What do you mean grant? I don't, we don't give money to people. Uh, and then the person said, uh, rental assistance. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got that. <laughs> and that apparently has happened not just a few times, a lot of times. So you need to talk very simple English with these people. Um, there's a couple reasons why, because I'm, you know, this channel broadcasts across the country and people talk differently in every part of the country, in every city, in every county, in every country, city, town. And you see the word grant and they're like, grant? Who's grant? I don't know him. Uh, and then you say assistance. Oh yeah, I know what assistance is. So use very simple words. Rental assistance appears to be a more easier word for a lot of these people on the phone to understand when you say it. Rental assistance, utility assistance, help paying my rent because of the pandemic. Help paying my utilities because of the pandemic. Very simple. And that's working. Next, going to the state website, the city and county websites is working really well. On Saturday, we all knew that you can't get these city hall on the phone to close. So I had viewers go online and they did and they got applications in. They went into the official website of the city or county. And I don't think viewers are having problems anymore finding them because <laughs> I made the joke on Saturday and apparently it worked. If you find a city or county website, you're not sure if it's official, but it's asking you to pay your water bill and pay your electric bill and pay your gas bill and pay every other, every other bill you could possibly pay. You found the right people. <laughs> when you find the bill collectors, you found the city or the county. Uh, so there you go. And on there, look in the search bar and look for assistance or grant or COVID. They generally have a COVID page and that's where you'll find it. Next, I launched, I uh, had one viewer um, who has offered to provide um, assistance in helping find these for you. So in the community part of this page, if you go to YouTube forward slash LA, youtube.com forward slash LLA, if you're on this video, you're already on the page. But if you go to the top of this page, there'll be a community tab. And in the community tab, I'm posting the links to the people. And there's currently two as of Sunday morning. There may be more by Sunday midday. Uh, f and I'm posting the two people that are helping, one in Ohio only and one across the country. And I'm posting as soon as I hear a grant. So last night, for example, <clears throat> one person in Purple Power Live said, Urban League in uh, in Alabama is giving $5,000 rental grants. So that was a surprise. Another person told me in Houston, the, uh, uh, the, um, Catholic charities is giving rental grants. So things just sort of come in and I share it with you. That's the purpose, uh, of a channel. That's the power of the media. When I, I, the bigger I get, the more I hear things from you and the more I can send the information right out. So that's the purpose of, of a community. You share the information with me, I shut it out. So if you're hearing about grants, if you got a grant, share the information with me by DMing me, send me a private message on Twitter or on Instagram or Facebook and say, hey, I got a grant, this is how I got it. And uh, and I'll share it with the community. Also, if you wanna help others find grants, certainly um, that is really appreciated as well. Um, boy, then there's escalated benefits. Escalated benefits is really working out quite well. I don't, I'm not gonna use many questions about it as well. So I'm presuming people understand it because I'm making it very basic. So uh, if you had income in 2019, filed your taxes, and you made over $30,000 a year, you could probably raise your unemployment benefits retroactively about $200 to $300 a week. If you made twenty to 30000 about $100 a week. And if you made eighteen to 20000 maybe about twenty to $50 a week retroactively. So if you've been on unemployment benefits, you could raise for 30 weeks, you could raise a three ten thousand. Uh, five thousand, three thousand, or two thousand dollars, and this is money you could really use. I've had three viewers do this that I have been told, and you know, a lot of people tell me when things happen, they just you know they go do it and they and they get in there, they're done. But I've had three viewers do it, and they went from like one hundred a week or one twenty a week to four fifty a week. They're getting nine thousand dollars, so go get it. I had one viewer in Purple Power Live last night who said I called California, and they said. Um, we don't do anything retroactive, so sorry for calling. That's just not true. Um, and if you get someone nasty, this person clearly had watched my videos 
the, 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 the viewer because they understood to sort of brush off a nasty call center person and just, you know, go have a cup of coffee, sit down, relax, and then call back again and speak to someone else. If you call a call center person, whether it's 211 or your state unemployment's office or do an EIDL, which is also a third way you can get right now money, sba.gov, and you call them and they're rude, just brush it off and ignore it and call someone else or call right back to the number and speak to someone else. Because ultimately, there's a lot of rude, misinformed and negative people out there that will tell you no, just like that person who said no to the word grant, which is not that complicated a word, but I guess some places it is. And then when you said the word assistance to her, oh yeah, of course I know what you're talking about. Uh, so with that, if you've not subscribed, please do. Please do so you're up to date by the minute. Also like this video. Coming up after this is more developments about what's going on with your stimulus and these grants. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay in the life for more.